Hey guys, welcome. Now we will start our new topic and the name of the topic is principle of AC transmission. Uh, this diagram you can see the AC transmission systems. In this one we have two sources. Number one is G1 and number two source is G2 and both are supplying through transmission power through transmission line to load Z1 and Z2. Here you can see uh, the voltage at bus 1 is V1 and voltage at bus 2 is U2. So there is a difference of angle between two buses and power is transmitted by creating the angle of uh, difference of angle between two phases in the AC transmission systems. So th this is the uh, way how you can control the flow of power. The equation for power flow is defined as simple as P is equal to U1 into U2 bus 1 voltage into bus 2 voltage divided by the impedance of the transmission line reactance into sine of the angle between them. So if the angle is changed the direction of P power will change from positive to negative from one direction to another direction. So here in this case uh, U1 is uh, leading U2 so power flow is from P1 to P2. Um, this is another thing to understand that if the transmission line reactance is high so less power can be transmitted. For example, if the transmission line length becomes double it will be uh, 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 the power transmission range will be really reduced. So if you want to for example if you are transmitting 100 megawatt at 100 kilometers if you are 200 kilometers it is not possible to transmit same power at same voltages. So if you want to transmit power for longer distances there are two options either reduce the reactance or uh, you can increase the voltage levels. So this is the basic principle of AC transmission systems. Mm -hmm.